Welcome back to Banama Today. Now you're with me, Tamina Kausji, and our very special studio guest for the morning, Dr. Taufik Chaudhry. And today we will be speaking about the importance of character building among students to encourage thoughtful, open-mindedness as well as confidence. Now, Dr. Taufik is, of course, the principal of Seven Skies International School, and he's here to speak about the very unique approach they take towards education. Good morning, Dr. Taufik. How are you? Good, thank you. All right, that's great. So, Doctor, please tell us a little bit about Seven Skies International, the history, as well as the background. Well, uh, I'm a uh, trauma uh, emergency doctor in Australia, and I came here about uh, five years ago. Right. And I uh, wanted to educate my children. Uh, I'm, an, I'm a Muslim, and uh, I'm also a medical doctor. So I wanted mm -hmm. the best of both worlds, really, uh, right. as, as I, say, I say it. And I found uh, schools that were either polarized towards very strong academics or very strong mm -hmm. uh, Islamic, and uh, very few that actually were able to join them well. Mm, so I put I my see. kids into almost nine different schools, uh, oh, wow. tried even homeschooling them. Right. Uh, and homeschooling is a great idea, but it doesn't work for everybody. Very true uh, as well. The yes. time balance, exactly. it's not very easy to manage. Exactly. And I have, I have a lot of children. I have uh, seven children, you know, oh, and wow. all, right. all different ages, so it's very difficult Understood. to manage. So I, I thought, well, uh, let's launch our own school. And so we crowdfunded for it. Uh, we asked the I Malaysian see. public right. to That's donate. Right, that's so interesting. And would you say that this is the first time that has been done in Malaysia? Well, I don't know if it's the first time, but I, I, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I didn't believe it until it actually happened. Oh, wow, wonderful. Uh, but, uh, but people did believe that there was a need. And so obviously mm -hmm. the crowd did fund uh, the Malaysian public. Thank you for them. Uh, they funded it, and so we, we raised uh, three million, and then we uh, right. launched the school. It's mm -hmm. in Kota Damansara, and we provide education from kindergarten all the way till uh, till grade ten at the moment. I see, right now, Seven Skies International. Um, first of all, of course, that's a very interesting and lovely name for a school. Why the why the name Seven Skies? Seven Skies. Well, because uh, God says in the Quran that He created seven skies. Right. So He said the sky uh, it, it denotes uh, heavens. It also denotes aspiration greatness, you know, aim right. for the stars, you know. Okay. So instead of calling it seven stars, we thought seven skies sounds better. <laughs> Actually, it does. It sounds lovely. Yes. Right. Now, right. Seven Skies International, of course, has been yes. around for the past two years. And yes. how has the reception been from the Malaysian public in general, as well as enrollment-wise? I think it's been really good. Um, mm -hmm. Majority of our school is actually Malaysian. Right. Um, um, and we're uh, playing some slides on the screen, right. of course, um, showing classes in session as right. well as the right. interactivity and the class size, I must say, Dr. Taufik. Yes. How um, large is the average class? The average average class is, uh, class is only about 12 to 15 uh, children, right. sometimes with two uh, teachers at the same time, one I of see. them teaching, the other one helping the the, 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 the special needs children right. in the class. So very short, small numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a long day. It's from eight o'clock till about four. However, right. that's to pack in all of the uh, the education mm -hmm. that we give them, the IGCSE uh, curriculum, the uh, Islamic training, and also, of course, very strong of character focus. Right. Uh, in the school. Okay. Now, I think that is something um, I'd like to spend a little time speaking about, the character building focus. Now, yes. I think um, in general, in across the board in the education industry, it's taken as a given that mm. character building, it will somehow happen yes. throughout the um, education of the child from kindergarten to um, high school. Yes. So why is it that Seven Skies has decided to specifically include character building as uh, a module of yeah. um, education for children? Well, I, I think the whole essence of education is around reforming character. Uh, our mm -hmm. Prophet Muhammad had said that he was not sent by God except to perfect good character. Uh, okay. In the hereafter, success in the hereafter is based on character. Mm -hmm. ca and, and success in this world as well, in everything you do is based on character. Uh, as a medical doctor, I have better rapport with my patients and better mm -hmm. outcomes when I have good character with them. If I have poor character with them, I have more litigations, I'm in more risk right. and my insurance policies go up. If I have a good character, I mm -hmm. uh, am a manager at work and I ascend into a director of my department. Right. If I have poor character, my employees don't perform for me and I lose, lose money. Mm -hmm. So whether it be financially you want to look at or success in this world, 
every single thing is tied to good character and excellence. Right. And this is one of the things that unfortunately we don't test enough. And we don't prioritize that. I mean, I very just saw true. you were talking about the UPSR results. Yes, we were. So it's yes. very timely that we actually have Correct. you in the studios here today. Correct. And so, look, the focus is again on A's. And the focus is again on exactly what were the grades. But mm -hmm. how do we know those children were actually good character? And That's I can right. tell you, as a medical doctor, whilst I was training, we had... Uh, you know, we were the cream of the crop in Australia, 0.1% of the top of the top cream of the crop Australian. Right. You had to get 99.5% marks in your exams, mm -hmm. uh, in your U UPSR equivalents to get into medicine over there. Mm -hmm. And so uh, wh what made sure that their character was good? I mean, I can tell you a lot of my colleagues were very poor character. Right. And, uh, and generally it's well known that a lot of surgeons usually are quite arrogant, for example, when, when their character comes. And this issue has to be rectified at education. Also, uh, the children that come out. Right. Why are we studying? Are we studying so that we can get a job and, and make money? Or mm -hmm. is it so that we can add value to humanity? What Very about social question. problems? Why is it uh, that we all aim mm -hmm. for becoming doctors and lawyers, but we forget about society's greater problems, like mm -hmm. climate change, like... Um, for example, poverty, like for example, child labor, for example, uh, the problems of pornography and prostitution and, uh, and domestic violence. When are mm -hmm. these issues going to be the primary focus of the people that come out of school? And if, if the government and also education ministries and the schools don't mm -hmm. work together to, f to help children build a vision about fixing societal problems whilst they're children, it will not happen when they're adults. That's right. Advocacy never happens in a vacuum. Correct. And it's very true to say that it needs to be a part of the holistic school system. Yeah. Now, uh, how does um, Seven Skies International help each one of its young wards cultivate thoughtful, open-mindedness, at the same time, social responsibility as uh, a personal value, not just an ethical, you know, um, uh, sort of an ethical ideal? Right. So we, we, we have a motto, and, and we call that uh, Allah mm -hmm. in the heart or God in the heart. Mm -hmm. God consciousness in the heart okay. and the world in your hands, meaning mm -hmm. all the skills and the tools and experiences you need right. in order to be successful in this world. And so we focus on experience, we focus on the mind, and we focus on giving them the skills. Right. So um, each uh, school year, we focus on three different themes, mm -hmm. a societal theme, and then a, uh, a poverty theme, and then a technological theme. Uh, right. Three terms in a year, each, each term one theme. I see. We introduce that, e that social evil to the children, mm -hmm. and we uh, uh, lecture them, and we bring in global experts and local experts to speak to them about it. Then they're encouraged to work on projects to actually solve that problem. An example ah. is now they're, they're working on addiction. Okay, so the right. first three to four weeks, they'll be mm -hmm. talking about addiction and learning about what addiction. Sugar what addiction, shopping addiction, gambling addiction, all the way to pornography addiction, to mm, uh, internet addiction. Right. Yeah, all types of addictions, right? Okay, wonderful. Appropriate to the age, appropriate mm. to the level. Yes, yeah, so you sort of grade it through. Exactly. Then they're encouraged to do a project to solve addiction. Right. In the same way we have done about racism, you know, about mm -hmm. the uh, the red shirt and the yellow shirt that we were talking about. That's right, political uh, awareness yeah, Political as well. awareness, right? right? We spoke about um, uh, infectious diseases, we spoke mm -hmm. about uh, bullying, we spoke about all those issues that actually are affecting our society. So we introduce one theme to the students right. and we encourage them to solve it within that. And then they it culminates into something called the term theme night, I where see. all the students present what they have done in, right. front, of, uh, in front of peers and in the, and in the public. Right. Uh, also, we focus on boot camps to remove their fear. Um, we introduce them to snakes. We introduce them to uh, to the dark. We introduce right, them to okay. all of these things to, to make mm -hmm. them uh, fearless. Mm -hmm. uh, students are encouraged to launch their businesses. Grade 9 all have to launch a business before they graduate from the school. Oh, that's wonderful. So they all have done social mm -hmm. projects. They have launched initiatives. They have okay. done social experiments. They have launched their businesses before they graduate from Seven Skies. Right. This is on top of the God consciousness and also the various skills that they learn. Mm. Uh, in the school. So there's a huge focus in the school right. on developing their mind and mm -hmm. they should not leave my school except that they have developed a vision for their life. So for example, grade 10 students, all of them are interviewing political leaders and, right. and sports stars mm -hmm. and uh, you know, a, a, and business people. Right. Anyone who has reached uh, a level of excellence in, in their field, exactly. they're required to interview five people. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and that helps them form their vision about what they want to do and how they want to add value to humanity. Exactly. So I think it's a great um, way that you're practicing modeling real life as part of the academic curriculum. Now, how has the response been um, and the s response so far from students who have been through the system? Well, uh, we've had about two years. I think it really mm -hmm. needs about five years before we can say, you know, what it's right. working. Uh, but I, I think the initial uh, bits and the initial uh, uh, you know, results are really uh, encouraging. Even my own children, uh, they used to talk about Pokemon perhaps in the car. Now they talk about, uh, you know, how many people they helped and how much money they raised for right. charity. Uh, children are now, for example, my son uh, was able to raise 83,000 ringgit uh, online, mm -hmm. learning how to fundraise online to use Facebook and Twitter to raise money. All right. And then he went off to Sudan to actually feed poor orphans there. So all of these things are, are examples mm -hmm. uh, that show that, you know what, if we, ca if we believe in the children, we mm -hmm. believe that they actually hold the keys to fixing society's problems, th and we encourage them, we help them, then I think really we can actually inspire them to make some real change. Absolutely. And on that note, Dr. Taufik, I'm sorry, but we have to leave. And thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for having me. It's My been pleasure. a pleasure. So this has been Dr. Taufik Chaudhry speaking a little bit about Seven Skies International in Kota Damansara. Thanks for joining us here so far on Banama Today. We'll be back after a quick commercial.